this video might be a bit cringe, but I thought I would take a day in the life and add some TikTok edits to it. This is the first time I'm trying most of these. I did not come up with any of them, but I thought we might as well go ahead and try something different. So let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. I didn't even plan on saying that and it was so cringe coming out of my mouth, but hey, I'll either edit it out or I'll keep it in so you know how awkward I am. I made coconut rice crispy treats for after nap time today. Stella has actually never had a rice crispy treat, I don't think, and Fievel definitely has it. And this is just one of those super quick and easy uh, treats that don't require any baking or heating up the apartment or anything. So I thought that would be nice. I added coconut to make it a little bit more summery. I'm definitely more in the fall spirit myself. I did buy two cans of pumpkin so we could do pumpkin banana bread later this week. But for now, we're just gonna pretend it's still summer, even though in my heart, it is definitely autumn. All right, I don't know if she'll actually like this because it's sticky and we don't love sticky textures. Ooh, is it yummy? Seems like it's good. And brother is jealous and he could totally have Rice Krispie Treat, I'm sure, uh, but it's just a lot of sugar. So I'm gonna try one of these with him. He's never had pouch food before. All right, ready? What do you think? And just like that, it is almost 5 p.m., which means I'm gonna start dinner because the kids go to bed early. And tonight we are going to be having eggplant parmesan. It is the next day, Fievel's down for his morning nap, which means it's time for me to get ready. Um, dinner last night was amazing. I I would link a recipe down below, but I didn't really follow one. I kind of just went on Pinterest and I looked up eggplant parmesan and then I eyeball all ingredients that I, I use, but it was a pretty easy recipe to do in the air fryer. It did not take that much time at all. In the air fryer, I think I did 350 degrees for 10 minutes for four or as many as can fit in your air fryer. And yeah, so dinner last night was great. We have to run an errand this afternoon. So let's do another TikTok edit here. Ready, set, go. And we're done. Okay, um, so actually I got ready because I planned on running an errand, like I said before, but I decided that the thing that I need, I don't actually need, it's not an essential, so we're not gonna go to Target anymore. Fievel was winding in the living room here. I had to figure out what was going on, but the only thing that I need from the store, or I don't really need, I guess, is a hole punch, and that's for a little craft that I'm working on that I'll show you guys in a minute here. Um, but I don't really need it, and honestly, I could just order it on Amazon and not have to take the kids out of the house. <laughs> Sir, he's having a hard day. Anyway, I think I decided just now that we're gonna go get some coffee because I have a free Duncan thing again, but anyway, I'll talk about that in the car. Here's the project that I've been working on this morning here and there. I have a lot of areas in the house that I think would look really cute with some holiday garland. So with fall coming up, I thought I'd do some pie garland on the shrinky paper, but it's not turning out so great. But here's what it looks like when it's large. This is what I need the hole punch for. Um, and then you put it in the oven and it turns into this, but it needs some tweaking before I start making a bunch of it. Uh, it's just, yeah, I, I don't love the way this is turning out, but this is what I was working on this morning. I just cleaned this room, sir, and I know you're the culprit because you're the only one who pulls these bins down because you're the perfect height. 
I changed my mind on the coffee again. The second we were about to walk outside the door, I heard the lawnmowers going, which means the landscapers are outside. They come like once a month or something like that. And so that means today's the day that they're finally picking up all the dog poop that I keep running over with my stroller and I don't want to interrupt them doing so. And also it's really hot outside and Fievel's clearly not dressed and Stella's wearing what she wore yesterday because she slept in it and we're just not ready to leave the house today. So, that's where we're at. Table. What is it? A teddy bear. Teddy bear? Baby. Baby? Baby? Uh-oh, you said shoe. baby. Shoe? A shoe? You guys, I did a bad thing. <laughs> and there's more in the oven. There's an entire second loaf in the oven. I did my Walmart grocery pickup order, where is it? And I asked for two 15 ounce cans of pumpkin puree and instead they gave me two 30 ounce cans of pumpkin pie mix. This is essentially a pumpkin pie in a can. It's pre-sweetened, pre-spiced and you just add eggs and pour it in a crust. So I had to figure out how to turn that into pumpkin bread which wasn't too hard, but it made a lot of it. And I only have one loaf pan, so luckily I found these little liners that I think I took from my parents' house because they don't bake. Um, I had two Easy Bake Oven Style pans from Stella's room that are luckily oven safe. And then in here, how weird is it that my oven doesn't have a window, by the way? It's very inconvenient because I have to keep opening it. In here, I have my Tupperware that luckily is oven safe as well. So we've got a lot of pumpkin treats. Are you ready for your first pumpkin spice? Really? You eat anything. I've seen you eat Cheerios out of the dustpan. <laughs> you don't want this? You really don't. Hey, look. Do you want to try it? You're kidding me. You're not my child. Okay, it is a little while later after all the pumpkin bread stuff. I ate a lot of pumpkin bread, by the way. Thank God I'm not doing low carb anymore. Thank you to hormonal birth control, which is also going great, by the way. I decided I need to trim my bangs up because a lot of you on Instagram told me to keep them. I was on the fence about whether I wanted to grow them out or not. So I'm gonna do a quick kind of tutorial, not really. I'm just gonna show you how I trim bangs. Uh, they're getting so long that they're actually getting caught in my eyelashes here, so getting to that point where I need to take off like a microscopic amount. Ignore how um, swollen and bloody my skin is. I was distracted and I started picking it. Honestly, I have no excuse. I just picked the crap out of it. So, pull other hair back unless you want to give yourself a bowl cut by making your bangs way too horizontally long. I take the bangs like this. This is not professional, by the way. And then I go like this. And then I go like this. All right, let's see if that did it. Yep, there we go. It's just just barely short enough. Now I have to go check why Stella is screaming at Fargo. Stella, you have to share. Yeah, share. Sharing is sharing is nice. Let's try the other kid. Do you want some? All right, one kid will eat the pumpkin bread. I'm I'm okay with that. Okay, so we're actually going to eat leftover eggplant parmesan for dinner tonight, so I don't actually have anything else to share with you guys. We actually did a lot of cooking in this vlog, but let me know if there's comments down below if you enjoyed the TikTok edits. Of course, I probably won't do another video where I'm using all of them, but I did learn a couple little editing tricks that I really enjoyed doing, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. And Fievel and I are going to go now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.